Howdy, howdy, everybody. So today, we are actually heading out to buy some new vending machines. Not brand new, but used. Hopefully a little bit better than used. Hopefully they're really good used ones. <laughs> because we have another location that we're going into. And we are going to be shopping. We are. For Box Factory number two, actually. That's our new location. Box Factory number two. So they already had vendors in it. And because we're doing such a great job at Box Factory number one, with our customer service and attention to detail, and our good prices, of course. Prices. They, <laughs> they prices. Said, prices. They said, we need you guys in our other location. Please, please, please. So, we are doing some shopping today. We are supposed to be getting a Dixie Narco 5591 beverage machine and a Crane 167 snack machine. There is some crazy looking country out here, by the way. I'm telling you, I mean, this is Michigan, but it looks like Iowa. Did you see the grain <laughs> elevators and all the situations around here, first of all? Like, seriously. Like, I, it, it just, it doesn't look like Michigan to me. I don't know why. No, it's like rolling hills with a grain elevator. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. But, yeah. Hashtag Michigan has a lot of countryside as well. It does. Hashtag fun drives to get the vending machine situations under control. Now, by the way, we did find these vending machines on Facebook Marketplace, and that is where we have found, I think, pretty much everything. All right, people. So we have returned to the vending ranch warehouse, number one, with a pop machine. So we'll show you the pop machine in a minute. But yeah, we did it. It's scratched up, but I think we may paint it, maybe something, maybe not. Yeah, let's see. But now to get it off the trailer. All right, so this thing goes really smooth, so you gotta be careful when dealing with a ramp. So it's good to have a brake person, so you kind of come down nice and easy with it. And done. And people, it is the next day here at Vending Machine Warehouse location number two. Albeit a cold and rainy day at that. Nonetheless, perfect for doing some indoor vending machine type situations. So we have a new location with our box factory, number two location, and actually their special projects division as well. So we are going to be placing a total of three more vending machines, two of which before you are new to us. In a third, our CB300 with the lighthouse you have seen before. Now, originally, we did have a deal in place with the current owner of the vending machines currently on vacation. Location, not vacation. They will be taking a vacation because we will be moving in. They will be moving out. But with that, we do not have their machines anymore. We're leaving to go uh, pick up the machines. I actually got a text from these really awesome people. And they said, you know what? I'm gonna need an extra $1,100. We said, no, thank you. We found these babies local and we got a little bit of work to do. But I think we did all right. And now, people that are watching us on YouTube, let me present to you our technical advisor of the warehouse location number two. <laughs> Jenny, take it away. All right, so we have before you the Dixie Narco 5591. This beautiful drop machine is what we acquired. Now, it has a whole bunch of selections, nine in each row. And it's a machine that like literally drops the things down. It's a little bit scary at first. It throws them. <laughs> this is the first drop machine we had. These, seriously, these things, they go to, the, they jump. Right. And like They free fall down. It's it's freaky. Yeah. But anyway. So, so the, they come here, they drop down. There's three receptacles at the bottom to catch them, which is pretty awesome. So uh, we acquired this. We paid $1,250 for this machine. Um, we do have some things to repair and to fix. Um, the things that we want to address before we put on location, there are these little plastic things in here, the little shims on the side that are yellowed. Um, they get yellowed from the UV light. So as you can see, the fluorescent light on the side actually yellows these pieces of plastic in here. And so we're going to be ordering new ones to put in there. So look how snazzy and clean. So we have to clean the whole machine and actually these little slides here, they're called pushers and slides from what I understand, those plastic pieces that you push the pop back in, the sodas. We need taller ones so the soda doesn't fall back behind it. So we're gonna order those and replace all of those in the whole machine as well. Also, this bill acceptor says it accepts ones and fives. However, fives aren't working and I'm thinking it means the old fives. So we have a, to get a different bill acceptor to put in here that actually accepts ones and fives. 
They like to use the fives for the energy drink. They do, yeah. Hashtag get that energy. Yeah. So we present to you the Crane National Vendors 167. So this bad boy has 40 selections. 40! So um, this thing is like immaculate. What's pretty awesome about this machine is that it has price rolls. So they're little rolls that go in there and you can easily change the price. We'll show you those later. The 167 also has double coils. And from what I understand and I've heard is that the double coils help push out the product so it doesn't get stuck as easily. If you guys have a machine that has double coils, let us know down below what you think of them. So what's different about this machine compared to the one that we have at Box Factory number one is that it only has 10 candy rows here on the E-Row. At the Box Factory number one, the row above it is also candy. So we have some fewer selection for candy bars. We're gonna have to figure out, tweak it a little bit, you know, vending situations. Okay, so now a little vending story update type deal. So we did talk to uh, Pepsi, uh, the Pepsi bottlers this week. We found out that we could get a Pepsi's their products uh, looking right around a dollar thirty-two plus deposit on that. So we're a buck forty-two out the door. If we sign a seven-year contract, though, they might have rebates for us. So they're looking into that. The prices are for twenty ounces. What we do here, sixteen point nine, and our profit is way better with these. Just to give you an idea, right now with 16.9s, um, getting creative through our purchasing options, uh, we're paying right around an average of 55 cents out the door, and that includes deposit on our 16.9s and selling them for $1.25. So there's a 70 cent profit there. But with the 20 ounces, the person before us was selling them for a buck 50. So if we're buying them for $1.42 out the door, that's an eight cent profit. I think we're gonna stick with the 16.9s. Now with the 16.9s, it's gonna be 25 cent cheaper than the uh, person that's currently there. And they're, they're also gonna get only about, you know, 3.1 ounces less. So it seems like a good deal. What are your thoughts? Here's a look at the CB300, which is also gonna to go to box factory location number two. Specifically, their special projects division. Lighthouse vending machine. So now I think it's time to head off to Sam's Club and Walmart to pick up some stuff to try vending out at that one. Make sure we can do it. Pretty all right. So what is this, you may ask? Well, this, this, my friends, this is the makings of an honor box. Uh, you see, a couple of years ago, like probably many vending people, we watched uh, Vending Nation. We learned all about uh, honor boxes. We actually bought some honor boxes, never got around to doing them. But now the special projects division with the CB300, you want an honor box too. Let's see how that does. It is Michigan, it is December, and there is some sort of snow mixture falling from the sky. Onward to Walmart in Sam's Club. Ended up with a little bit more than uh, we came for, including a toilet. That happens sometimes. All right, people. So what we did here is we added all new pushers. So we took out each one of these racks underneath. Kind of have to get up underneath there, pinch it with some pliers. And then this comes out, this whole kind of rack system. So these are your pushers. So we upgraded those to get some taller pushers. Look at that. Also makes it look nice and clean. So we still have to kind of clean all this up. We have some vinyl stuff we're gonna put over there. You'll, you'll see it once it's done. Uh, so we added a credit card reader and then we also added a, a new bill validator so it can accept uh, fives. The old one needs to be reprogrammed. And with, the snack, and with the snack machine, the Crane 167, Jen's gonna show us how to do the price labels. Oh yeah, yeah. Or what those look like, kind of these. These cool little roll things. See that? Look at that, you just roll your price on there. Ba-bam. They stick right in the side. So that's kind of nifty. So we've got those all situated on here as well. Anyway, last night we went into a live stream from AW Vending and won an awesome prize. So shout out to AW Vending. Make sure to check them out if you haven't already but yes now it's time for a delivery situation of the vending machine so next video 
or some somewhere coming up, you're gonna see them in action very soon at Box Factory number two. All right, people, we just dropped off our first two machines at Box Factory number two. And on the way back home, uh, we're going by the airport. So we thought we would show you. Why is this interesting or cool, you may ask? This is uh, Gerald Ford Airport. So this is where the first doses of coronavirus vaccine were flying out from just like today. Yeah, from Pfizer. Pa pow Interesting. And now back to more regularly scheduled vending action. Here is our honor box for the Box Factory Special uh, Projects Division. So this is our first ever shot at doing an honor box. Um, now I know some of these things in here, like the Skittles and peanut M&Ms, the Snickers, the Payday, and the Reese's should probably be priced higher, you know, than a dollar, maybe a dollar twenty-five, maybe even a dollar fifty. I don't know, maybe not that high, but at least a dollar twenty-five. But you know, with it being an honor box, we just wanted to make it easy. We wanted all the selections to be a dollar. Uh, we know that we probably won't make that much extra over it, but it's it's just the fact that we want to provide this extra service to them, and they asked for it. So we'll see how it does. Wanted to add a little chocolate. Got some muffins. Those seem to do well. Honey bun. So yeah, we'll see how this does. Honor box situations. As we are loading up the CB300 and getting ready to drop this off for our last delivery of the day, we bid you adieu. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. Uh, tune in next week to see what happens with all this stuff and more. But yeah, seriously, if you're new in town, please consider subscribing. We'd love it. With all that being said, until we see you again, keep your nose clean. Bye-bye.